So right now in the big world of One Piece, alongside Dragon and Shanks, Rox is one of the most mysterious characters introduced in the story so far. Right now, we only have the Navy's opinion on who Rox was as a character, however, with no real flashbacks or direct dialogue from Rox to show what his personality was like, what kind of characteristics he had. So that brings in the question in my head is, could he have been good natured? Could he have been a neutral character? Going all the way back to chapter 957, we have Akaino reading a newspaper and referring to Kaido and Big Mom joining to reform the Rocks Pirates as just the latest disaster. So a little bit of origin in the Rocks Pirates is they came together on full of lead to make a big score. Uh, a lot of money making schemes leading up to this final score. They were described as constantly killing one another within the group and their crew featured a young Whitebeard, Big Mom, and Kaido. So how was it that some of these pirates made it onto the crew? Was it through their own choice? Was it through Davy back fights? We still don't really know. Kaido's flashback doesn't give any strong details as to how he became part of the crew, just that he did. So how could this have come around? Was it strength seeking strength? Did Rock send him an invitation to the crew or did he force him to come onto the crew? I could see Whitebeard joining through a Davy back fight Knowing the good nature of Whitebeard and how he just wanted to build a family within his own crew, it kind of goes against the nature of who Rox was as a character painted by the Navy. We also have big names like Golden Lion Shiki, the Silver Axe, Captain John, and Wang Ji. Some of these which look like they made a bit of an appearance in the Thriller Bark arc. Sengoku then reveals Rox's ambition was to become king of the world and he described the crew as open hostilities directly against the world government, like some kind of terrorist organization. So what does that mean? They were like the kid pirates attacking civilians as well. Right now, we don't have any confirmation on that, just that they opened up hostilities towards the world government. Could they also have been an inspiration of the revolutionaries? So some theorize that Dragon could have actually been the son of Rox, who married Garp's daughter. If, they, if he did have a daughter, I'd that would be just as new as when Garp dropped that dragon was Luffy's dad back in Annie's lobby arc. But if they are fighting for the freedom of countries under the world government's tyranny and the heavenly tribute, then are they really a villain group? That would make some assumption that they weren't also attacking civilians. So we know that in current times, the revolutionaries are not an evil group, but are fighting for the good of the world. Could the Rocks Pirates' reputation also be tarnished by the world government in the same way? It'd be a little far-reaching to think that their reputation has been completely tarnished. I mean, we know we have Big Mom and Kaido on the crew. Those two are a little more on the darker, more evil, chaotic side of things when it comes to balance in the crew. But we do know that any pirate group described by the world government or the Navy in general is evil. Even the Straw Hats. The Straw Hats are evil. What's to say they aren't just slandering the name of the Rocks crews the same way? Now, going back to the God Valley incident, that was the end of the Rocks Pirates. So that's about as far as we get any details on the Rocks Pirates. Roger and Garp teamed up to take down Rocks and protect the Celestial Dragons and their slaves. The Celestial Dragons being the most corrupt force in the world. They own slaves and treat them like trash. We get examples at Sabaody and even with Kuma during the Reverie arc. They look at regular people as subhuman, even wear a literal bubble helmet to keep themselves from breathing the same air as the rest of the population. So we know that in order for Luffy to achieve his true dream, he's going to have to tear down the current world government and their regime. So if Rox was after the same objective, then how do we consider that evil? Now, the whole King of the World title is the biggest factor that we have for considering Rox to be an evil force. What were his goals as being King of the World? Did he really want to rule over the world with the same iron fist as the Celestial Dragons? I'm honestly willing to bet that he wanted to free the world from the Celestial Dragons and wanted to ensure no one else took place as a corrupt ruler. We do also get a comment from Sengoku that he broke too many of the world's taboos. So that because of that, there's no info on the public record of the Rocks Pirates, but we do know that just being able to read the Poneglyphs is punishable by death from the world government, as well as knowing the true history of the world and the name of the ancient kingdom. There's a few things that we can take from Rocks that we can sort of line up alongside Roger and Luffy. From my perspective, he wanted to free the world of the oppression of the Celestial Dragons, a master crew powerful enough to be able to do so, even though that came at the sacrifice of the crew chemistry in order to do that. You know, as Sengoku stated, they constantly downplayed each other's achievements 
this would be a little bit of a deviation from Luffy's goal in becoming King of the Pirates and the kind of nature that Luffy has and his ability to bring people together. Rocks wanting to become King of the World, his goal in forming a crew was just to create the, the most powerful crew. Because of that, some of the most powerful pirates unfortunately were evil. Now between Roger and Rocks, why would Roger help Garp in the fight against Rocks if Rox's goal was to take down the Celestial Dragons. I think at the time, Roger and Garp already had a bit of a mutual respect for each other, but though it is difficult to tell what the exact details of what happened on God Valley, some of the questions that I've had in my mind were, was Rox simply trying to free the slaves? Was God Valley the original Marijua? And that's why it was such an important event and why it's gone now. They moved out of God Valley and went to Marijua on top of the Red Line. That could be a reason why we no longer have God Valley on the map anymore. Did Garp cut a deal with Roger in order to help him stop rocks? And what could that deal have been? Because Roger shouldn't have any interest in helping the Marines save the Celestial Dragons. That kind of goes against the nature of the whole pirate thing. Roger might as well have been a Navy Marine in that case. Now the relationship between Blackbeard and Rox is pretty interesting because Blackbeard's flagship we know is called the Saber of Zebek. So what could he possibly know about Rox? Did he hear stories of him through Whitebeard during his time on Whitebeard's crew? And what kind of stories were they? Do you guys think Blackbeard could have twisted Rox's goal to take down the Celestial Dragons as motivation for his own evil deeds? Now I know this video is a little bit of a devil's advocate play on. I am looking forward to see if we get more Rox in a flashback to see what he was like as a pirate and what his personality was. But I am willing to make a bet that he's not the evil boogeyman that the Navy has painted him to be. That doesn't necessarily make him a saint. I mean, he's, I don't imagine him to be Luffy in any regards, but until we get more details, it's hard to tell what kind of pirate he truly was. If he was the evil villain of the story that we're gonna, that is gonna come back, or if he was more on the neutral side and he wanted to create a more free world for pirates and the people in general. As always, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on twitch.tv slash Wrath of Reptar. And I'm on Twitter as Wrath of Reptar as well. And as always, happy viewing.